1994年それははるか土星で開発されたサタンフロムサタン64ビット級ゲームマシン<笑>セガサターン地球新発売セガ Hey guys, I'm back with a new video and I was gonna do another discography ranking but I decided to hold off and do something a little different.、Um, I said before I wanted to open this channel up to a couple、uh, different types of stuff I could talk about so I've been wanting to talk about the Saturn for a while. So if you're trying to get into the Saturn in 2021, there's a lot to know but、uh, I'm gonna try to go through it pretty quickly so for any newcomers、um, it's just simplify things. So, with the Saturn, you've got the Model 1 and the Model 2.、It、um, really doesn't matter what revision you have unless you're going to buy、um, an optical drive emulator, an ODE for it.、Uh, the Fenrir, I believe it is, and the,、uh, <coughs> the Rhea and the Phoebe, which are the older ones that are really hard to find unless you're buying like, pre modded ones on eBay. You're really not going to come across those too often, but the Fenrir has two versions the 20 and the 21 pin versions, and that is totally dependent on which revision you have. The 20 pin Saturns are the ones with the little oval buttons, and the 21 pin are the round buttons.、Um, so that's really the only time you really need to know which version you have.、Um, what's Better to know actually would be uh, which uh, country your console is from,、uh, just so you know what games you can play out of the box.、Um, although,、uh, no matter which version you have, I would totally recommend buying an action replay cart because you can,、um, you can load cheats,、uh, you can put save data on there, and you can play games from other regions. So, and it just plugs into the back little cartridge slot there, which is for expandable memory, anyways. So, super useful. Uh, this one I actually have,、um, which is something I want to talk about next.、Uh, this one actually isn't the standard action replay software. It actually it has a program on it called Pseudo Saturn. And that lets you play games、um, off of, it lets you play backups, I should say. So、um, if you have any burned games, you can play those. You can burn your own games and try them.、Uh, it's super useful, especially since the Saturn is, wasn't. The best selling console in the US, so a lot of the,、uh, especially a lot of the RPGs and、um, stuff like that, and a lot of the、uh, more coveted games are really expensive. So, if you want to play them a day, it's a really good way to try something out before you spend a couple hundred dollars on a game. Or if you just want to play a lot of the Saturn games on the cheap, it's a great way to do it.、Um, now, I'm going to be honest, I don't have every different.、Um, Uh, ODE for the Saturn. Some of the things for this console are a little bit out of my price range, at least at the moment. So,、um, anything that I talk about, I will put like a reference photo somewhere in the video so that you can at least see what I'm talking about. And I might have links down below where you can go and order some of that stuff.、Um, but I do want to talk about some of it at the very least. So,、um, I'm not going to talk too much about、um, like cables and、uh, like、image quality.、Uh, there's a great video from My Life in Gaming where they go over all the video output options, but I will say the two best ones to go with if you're getting into the Saturn and you just want to hook it up and you don't have any scalers or anything、um, there's the, the HD RetroVision component cables, which carries the RGB signal. It's, it's super good looking. And there's also the RAD 2X cables, which、uh, do the same thing. They, they try to tap the best possible signal you can get. They're available for a couple different consoles.、The、same with the HD RetroVision cables. These are actually the,、um, the Genesis cables, and then there's just a little dongle on the end that,、uh, that plugs in there. So you can, you can use it for a couple different systems. It's really nice. So.、Uh, Yeah, I would recommend either a Japanese, US system if you can find a good deal on eBay or a local game store. Saturns aren't super common, but they are out there.、Uh, again, it really doesn't matter which version you have. And the last thing I want to talk about is、um, if you plan on getting a Saturn, it has a dead disk drive. There are a couple options. So my Saturn is still using the standard 
disc drive. I haven't done anything with it. Um, but there is two options which will remove the disc drive completely. There is the, um, the Fenrir, which I mentioned earlier, and the Mode from Terra Onion, which both replace the drive outright. So there won't be a disc drive anymore. Um, if you don't have an operational drive, it, it's really not a big deal. You just drop it in there and it functions the same way. You can load games off an SD card, off of a solid state drive, or even just a hard drive with the, the Mode. And with, I think, the Terra Onion or Fenrir, you can load games off of an SD card. Um, the last one I want to mention is the Sadiator, which actually goes in the back here. There's a little door where you can plug in. Um, there's a spot for, I think it's called a VCD card, which we never really used over here. It's a different video format. But you can plug the Sadiator in there, and you can load games off an SD card through the back. The Sadiator is a little expensive. It's more expensive than the other options. The, the mode is about $200. The uh, Fenrir is about $100, $120 if you can get it in stock. If you're not buying it from resellers. The Sadiator is $260. So it runs a little high. The only benefit to the Sadiator over the other ones is that you don't have to remove the disk drive. So it does have some benefits over the other ones if you're trying to keep your system kind of stock. Um, but uh, yeah. Only other thing I'll uh, mention is you might notice I've got a little dongle for the, the little controller part. Is I actually have a retro bit uh, controller. It's one of the wireless ones, and um, I don't usually like to go with third-party controllers. I like to keep everything first-party for the most part. Uh, there's a couple exceptions. I really like the, um, the Retro Fighters um, N64 controllers, but I really do like the um, the retro bit ones. I think from what I've heard in other videos and stuff like that, um, they actually contracted or they got with Sega to get like the original mold. So they're they're super super close. I mean they feel exactly the same. I have a it came with a its original controller and it feels very similar. And uh, for me, I really like it being wireless. Um, they have a couple different options. They have a 2.4 gigahertz version and a Bluetooth version, but um, they're both good. Um, I went with the 2.4 gigahertz because I've heard that it's better for interference and stuff like that with uh, different lags and lag and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, you, you really can't go wrong either way. So, uh, I highly recommend getting into the Saturn. It's a really, really good system. It's not as well known here in the States um, because the PlayStation and the N64 just totally killed it, just ate its lunch. But, um, it is part of Sega's history that I think a lot of people haven't really been exposed to. So, yeah, Sega Saturn. So, um, again, I'm going to put links to a lot of the stuff I'm talking about here, um, all the ODEs, and um, I'm not going to put any links to like eBay, but just go on there, just type in Sega Saturn, try to find one that's got at least a couple controllers and all the cables. Um, you're going to come with it's going to come with a composite cable, which is the yellow, white, and red cable. But I do highly recommend either going with the Rad 2X cable if you can find it. It's, it's HDMI, or if you have a TV that has component and can accept um, the signal over component, go with these. Very, very nice picture, um, and you don't have to have a scaler, um, but there are really great scaling options out there nowadays. So if you want to go that route, it's great options too. So I don't have one of those, or else I'd show it off. But, um, yeah, Sega Saturn, recommended.